Okay. Okay, okay. So, welcome, Dustin, and any other people, but mainly just Dustin. Hello. To the first test run, trial run of the video thing. Uh, yeah, Dragon Age 2. So we're playing Dragon Age 2. We are playing a character called Kaisen Hawk, and she is a mage. She has these cool greenish eyes. She, just as a reminder, um, is the oldest child of the three Hawk siblings, you know? And she is very protective and she's very brave. And when she was a kid, her magic first showed itself by like her defending others, right? Probably against like a child bully, childhood bully or something like that, right? So that's kind of like the structure that we're starting out with. So just as a reminder, if we go to our journal, we can see in our completed quests that we left Lothering and we came to Kirkwall, right? We found Gamlin, right? And he was a jerk. So then we had to Let's see. Well, we can ignore those for a second. You know, these are all really confusing. I was going to use them to I was going to use these to like go over what happened, but I bet I can summarize it all. So we found Gamlin, we moved in with him. Oh, I forgot to set my timer. I'm trying to set a timer, Dustin, so that I don't go over a half hour. There, okay. I've set it for a little bit short of a half hour since I wasted some time. Okay, so um, we found Gamlin. Then we met Varric and he said, you know, if we get 50 gold together, we can go on this um, expedition to the Deep Roads. And I accidentally cheated and we got a lot of money. We started doing quests, but we didn't do a lot of these secondary quests, right? Like there wasn't enough time. We didn't help Gieslaine find his wife because he was a douchebag. I mean, a big jerk. We um, didn't take a Fenril's job. We didn't help Hubert because who cares about Hubert? There's plenty of other um, merchants out there. We did not rescue the Viscount's son who, you know, I don't know. He'll still be around. Don't worry. He just isn't as friendly towards us later. Um, we helped Isabella because we had to recruit her so we could have our girl group. Right? We recruited Fenris, and now he's one of our companions. In our companions quests, we did those because we like all our friends. So we did all our companions quests. We found the will, and we, mo we're, we um, moved back into our high town mansion. Um, we recruited Fenris. We recruited Beric, of course, and Isabella. We talked to Anders. We met Carl, who became Tranquil, right? At the Chantry, remember? And then we fought some Templars. And Tranquil, remember, means when a mage gets disconnected from the Fade, which is like this separate realm where the spirits and demons live, right? So a mage gets disconnected from the fate and then they feel no emotions anymore, nothing at all. So that's what Tranquil is, and obviously that's not a good thing. Um, 
we talked to Meryl and we gave Carver um, something cool. It was like a letter about how our dad was friends with this nice Templar guy whose name was Carver. So that's who Carver's named after and it's really cute. And he felt he he's not sure how to feel about it. But he's okay. Anyway, so in the main plot, we got all of that money, and then we went to the deep roads, and we fought those rock monsters. We fought the rock monsters, which was fun, and we found a bunch of money. We also found, remember, we found that red lyrium idol, and it glowed, and then Bartrand, who is Varric's brother, Bartrand and Varric, the dwarf guys, you know? So Bartrand blocked us in because he wanted to take the red lyrium idol for himself. He took the idol and locked us in, and we had to find another way out, which is how we ended up fighting rock monsters, okay, and finding a back door out. Um, while we were down there, um, right, nothing happened, I don't think. We took um, the Deep Roads Expedition. Who did we take with us? Oh, I don't remember. Anyway, we did all of the quests to help mages, obviously, because we are pro-mage, we are a mage, Meryl is a mage, Meryl is cute. We haven't gotten to talk to her much, but we will, hopefully. Hopefully. I'll talk to her as much as I can in between quests so that we can see all of her scenes, okay? So, if you have any more questions about what happened in the past, you can feel free to ask me in the YouTube comments or in our messenger thread, Dustin, if you want like a clarification, like, hey, who's that one guy who blah, 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 that's fine. I'll answer your questions because I'm a nerd and I have too much free time on my hands and I've been doing nothing for the last two days solid except playing Dragon Age. I actually just started playing Dragon Age Origins, which, of course, since this is Dragon Age 2, it's the game before this one. So I can answer any questions that you might have. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out with all of our companions' quests. We have to go talk to all of our buddies. We have to talk to Varric, Anders, Aveline, Fenris, Isabella, and Meryl. So we're going to talk to all of them and see what kinds of things they have to say, and then we'll get started with either our main plot or with some side quests. Okay? Also, please let me know in the comments or in Messenger if the volume is too loud, because I put it way, way up so that hopefully you can hear the music and the dialogue easily. Okay, so we just talked to Viscount Dumar and he said, things are heating up with the Kunari and I need you to check into it for me. Okay, and we said, yes, of course, I'm happy to help because Kaisen is all about, like, she's all about, um, oh, wow, look at those. Look at those arms. Just kidding, they're not that beefy. Let's talk to Aveline's arms and then we'll, we'll see some beef. Anyway, so, that was gross. So, Kaisen is all about, like, justice and fairness, and I need to, like, buy myself some good armor, because this is shitty armor, right? Anyway. So, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. We're going to go talk to our companions. And then here's Seamus. If I talk to him, he'll be pissy, because I didn't rescue him earlier, and he doesn't know who I am. But I don't really care about him, so I'm not going to talk to him. Oh. Uh, yes, okay, this is where Aveline is, because now she's guard captain instead of just being in the guard because of that, like, guy who was a guard captain and he was corrupt. He was, like, he was, like, s like passing secret messages um, in the ledger book, and he was, like, setting it up so that the people would get caught and then the message would be would go through to the bad guys, the, the, um, uh, what do you call those? You know, the people who just hang out around the city and beat people up and steal their money, like bandits, but in the city. I don't remember what they're called. Anyway, let's talk to Aveline. Aveline's stressed out. Huh. 
all the power dynamics. Hey, now, Ferelden's can do good for themselves. Jevin's the name of the captain who was corrupt before. Jevin. Eh, I don't really want to ask her any questions. I just want to be, like, cute and snarky. Oh, Aveline. Aww. See, she knows me well. Aveline Friendship, plus 10. She... I don't think she has any quests for me right now, so we're just gonna meander out of here. Say, see you later, Aveline. Aveline. She's a dream. Boring. Okay, so let's... We can't, like, recruit people. Not recruit them, but we can't add them yet until we, like, talk to them. Actually, maybe we can. That's weird. I should probably get some people so that I don't end up fighting anybody on my own. So even though I'm gonna go talk to these people, I'm gonna have them with me. Just pretend. The first time I played this game, I walked around by myself to talk to all my friends because I wanted it to be authentic to what real life would be like. Because, <laughs> of course, I'm not going to, like, oh, shit. Hi, Bodan. I had to talk to the Viscount. Uh. Money, 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 money. Did you have to like run all this time? Just kidding, I'm gonna say the green, because Kaisen is a green hawk. She's nice. She's nicer than me. So, just as a reminder, in the deep road, Sandal, his his adopted son, ran off, and he is the one who makes enchantments. And he had like frozen a golem or something, and he was like covered in blood and killed some dark spawn and we found him like that and we were like sandal what happened and he was just like i don't know anyway so that's what happened with him and bodan is a merchant so he's useful to have around and sandal can do enchantments so i let them stay in my fancy mansion because they're you know useful to have around and they're fairly nice people bodan's a fairly nice person sandal's a kid so um yeah, that would be mean. He just really wants to help. <laughs> oh, mother. I do have to talk to her. I wonder what she thinks about being able to live in our mansion. I hope she's happy now. Health. Hmm. I think I'm gonna pick something offensive. I like this. When I'm a rogue, I like doing this kind of a thing. Confirm. Okay. All right. Let's let's keep going. Thanks, Aveline. Yikes.
usually. That's good. Oh, Meryl. She doesn't understand masturbating. Uh, okay. Now she's making puns. Um, okay, so up there is the Viscount's Keep, and my house is literally right here. Like my new fancy mansion. Like doorstep. Doorstep of the Viscount. I know, Abilene, I know. So I should go talk to my mom. Because I'm real close to where she lives. AKA where I live, AKA a giant cool mansion, which I'm very excited to show you, Dustin. Not random people. Maybe I should password protect this so that random people can't watch it. I don't know. I feel like that would be kind of weird. Okay, here's my mansion. There's Leandra. So I'm, she was down here. Nice dog. That's the Hawk family shield. Here's a place for writing letters. Um, there's a cool upstairs. This is where your love interest stands if they move in. Only like Anders and Meryl move in. This door leads to our cool bedroom. I don't know. Oh yeah, here we are. This, these are our cozy clothes. Nice robe for relaxing. Nice big four-poster bed for sex and, I mean, you know, <laughs> it's for sex. No, not gonna lie. And now she has work for me. Definitely. talk to him. Also, also, um, Evelyn keeps interrupting me. Also, Dustin, if you want me to, like, do all the investigations when we're doing a question thing at the bottom, just let me know if you want me to do all of them, and I'll do all of them if you want me to. But I'm only going to do them if it's like, I think I'm only going to do them if it's like information that we don't already know. Do you like her little ponytail? I hope you do, since we picked this hairstyle together. I like her, like, chubby cheeks. I think that's real cute. Anyway, so how much time do I have left? Eight minutes. Great. Technically nine. Okay. So I want to show you the mansion really quick. So this is like the main room where you can get potions and enchantments and stuff. And over here to the side, there's like a little fireplace and a little library. Up these stairs, this is probably just an extra room that'd be good for if there was a party. Because there's like a big thing here that would be some wine maybe. This is like the foyer entryway down there. It's this part on the map, you know. I really, I really like this, um, house. There's also, like, one or two things here and there that we can interact with. Um, let me see if I can find them so you can hear the banter dialogue. I don't know for sure if it will trigger yet. It should, though. Oh, you know, I need to read my letters. Let me check my letters really quick. I need to like... So... I gotta accept all of these. One by one. There's no accept all button. 
So these letters that we get, some of them are just little jokes and others are like quests. Like this one is just a joke. You know, it's saying that I don't, I'm, I represent a prince and if you give, if you give us money, then we'll give you back some money. It's like a joke on that like Nigerian prince scam. So some of these are just jokes. Others are um, part of the story, like, Hawk, I heard you got free, are there spiders? It's just from a friend back in Lothering, which is the village in Feralden that the Hawks are from. Or at least a place where they lived for quite a while, because I know they moved around a lot. Um, this one is a message to Leandra Hawk Mom from a friend of hers. Um, if you want me to read letters, let me know. I can read them. I don't mind. This is a letter to Kaisen from... Oh, from Carver. What did he write? How are you? I hope you and Mother are doing well. I found my place among the Templars. Right, I forgot. He, Carver joined the Templars. Um, it's nice to have purpose. Um, it's not a perfect job. I don't like what we do to mages, but do we have a choice? Do you? It keeps everyone safe and it's better than the alternative. Is it? Many mages understand we're trying to help, even if our methods could use improvement. At least he still has some empathy. Okay, unfortunately there are extreme elements within the order. Some argue for a permanent solution, quote unquote. Yikes! <laughs> and have ideas I hope never take root. But of course, Dustin, we're going to hear more about those later. Makes me glad Bethany never had to live in a place like this. Bethany, oh god. Oh, I forgot she was dead. Oh my god, I'm so sad. Um, I was just playing my other hawk game, and in my other hawk game, I'm a hawk warrior, so Bethany's alive. I forgot that she died. Um, okay, so that's really sad. Some of these are quests, and I'm just gonna deal with them when we get to the quest board. Okay, the quest board. Pfft, my journal. Da -da -da -da. So if we go up these stairs, we get to this little hallway, which has Leander's room. That's where she lives. Yeah. yeah, I can't interact with these objects yet. That's okay. I'll, I'll interact with them eventually. Don't worry. You'll see them. This is my room. It's nice. There's a quest. The quest. There's a chest here, but all it has in it is finery. And who needs finery when you have fucking armor? I mean, I'd wear my armor to a party. Don't get me wrong, but Leandra would probably, like, have a fit. She'd be like, you do not wear armor to a party. But she would want everyone to look nice, you know? Probably because when she was a kid, she was in the, like, noble class. We should go visit Meryl, right? Because that's who we're romancing. Give you a little bit of Meryl before we move on to our next thing. Or end the video, is what I mean. Howdy. Hmm, why, why? He's a jerk. I'm just kidding. <laughs> she is so full of empathy. He's not into happiness. Oh, because I didn't take him with us to the deep roads. I do hope so. I like our purple makeup. She has a very optimistic view. Anything else to say, cutie? <laughs> This thing is going to be, look at that, huh? That's going to be a plot point. That's pretty exciting to get into the plot eventually. How much time do I have left? I think I'm going to have to end this video here, my friend, because I have two minutes left till the buzzer goes off, and I don't want to start any shit I can't finish, okay? So I'm going to end this video here, and then I'll make another video where we go on to talk to more of our companions and stuff. It should be quite fun. It will be very exciting. 
See, look at us in the deep rose. That was fun, huh? Do you remember that? That was fun. Anyway, see you next time, Dustin. My friend whom I miss. Okay, take care of yourself. And also, don't forget, you put in the comments or message me if you want me to play the game any differently. Or if you need the volume up or down, or if you need anything else. Okay? Okay. TTFN.